This is the plaintiff, Angelo LaFace. He says he dropped his lawnmower off at the defendant's shop so they could sell it, and instead of selling it, they used it for their own personal use. If that weren't bad enough, they're now trying to charge him storage for the lawnmower, which they won't let him pick up. Huh? He's suing for $1,500, the cost of the lawnmower being held hostage. These are the defendants, Bob Baker and Victoria Atkins. Bob says the plaintiff dropped the lawnmower off because it needed a new battery and carburetor and then left it for over a year. The plaintiff had his lawyer call to negotiate a deal, but the plaintiff refuses to pay the storage. And, well, here they are. They're accused of mowing down a customer. <laughs> The defendants have filed a countersuit for $5,000 for storage and an unpaid repair bill. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff brought his lawnmower to the defendant's shop to sell. Turned out the defendant used the lawnmower, it's charging him for storage. But the defendant says the plaintiff left it for more than a year. It's the case of Mower, he hardly one. knew her. Thank you, Douglas. Welcome, Angelo, La is it LaFace? Si. Okay, uh, you are suing Bob Baker and Atkins Motors? Yes, ma'am. Represented here by v Victoria Atkins? Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, for $1,500, the value of an item that you say he refuses to return, you're counterclaiming $5,000 because, according to you, he owes uh, storage. Can I have you stand up, please, if you're a litigant? Yes, ma'am. Also, what's the relationship between you two? I'm his wife. Oh, okay. So what happened? What happened? I have this uh, lawnmower over my warehouse. Uh, Mike and Polito used to own the garage over there. He, take, he picked up uh, my lawnmower to bring it to the garage to sell. Okay. Then I go down Florida in the wintertime. When I come back April, but, uh, Mike, he was gone out of there. I said, I got to have the lawnmower. He's they, gone meaning what? He, they got to kick out of the place. Okay. Did Mike own the place? Yeah, Mike used to own the place. But did, he sell, it was, to, did he sell it to the defendant? To no, him? he said he, uh, Bobby, he take it. To cut the grace of home. The right okay, here, listen first to my question. We'll talk about the lawnmower in a second. Yeah. Who owns the place that you brought the lawnmower? Mike, Mike Epolito was owned the place. Okay, according to you, Mike Epolito owns the place. Yes. And you bring the lawnmower to him for what? To sell for me. To sell for you? Yeah. All right, and then you come back from Florida how many months later? Like um, three, four months later. And when you get there, where's Mike Epolito? They was a kid, they have some problem. They kick him out of him out of the place. Okay. What, can you guys explain the relationship? I, yeah. I own the business of Atkins Motors. Did you always own it? Yes. Mike Capolito was your employee. He, no, he was just a towing company. He in, rented our lot. He was in our lot, pretty much. Like well, he was in your lot doing what? He just rented the lot. Towing. He rented lot. the lot. Yep, just a storage lot. He needed a storage lot to conduct business. Okay. Well, how did that lawnmower get to your property? Mike Apolito towed it in. And to, in order to do what with it? Um, there was repairs that needed to be done and also to intend to sell it. Okay. And is there a work order for the repairs? Yes, ma'am. That was prepared after everything hit the fan or before? No, this was prepared on the day of. Okay. May I see those? Does it have this plaintiff's signature on it? Uh, no, ma'am. How do I know it was prepared the day of? Well, Particularly when I see that no no piece of it has been handed to a customer. Understood. Um, All I've of it done is here. previous business. <laughs> Did you with ever the get this? No, because it never was on the place. My capability it was R.J. out of Morrow. I don't know what that means. Did you ever get? Did you ever <laughs> ask to no. get repairs no. done? No. Okay. They were thinking that was a work when they bought over there. If this was a legitimate bill that was given to him because he was supposed to pay for repairs, and of course this is what you're basing your five thousand dollar lawsuit on for storages. Why are all three copies of it still attached to that each other? That was the day of the machine being dropped off yeah. to have the work That's done. the day you're supposed to get the signature, right? Well, they, he wasn't there, okay? He didn't come with the lawnmower. Evidently, it was picked up from his place, bring down. Mike, who was a, a social business acquirer of mine, said to look, this is what needs to be done. It won't start. Get it running. So then you didn't give him this when he dropped it off. <clears throat> I, I didn't see him. 
after so, that. So, so he never agreed to anything that's in here. This isn't a contract. This is no. just something you wrote up afterwards. No, that was wrote up the day of. Well, you might write it the day of, but your customer doesn't know anything you're saying because you didn't hand it to him. He was notified on what the bill was. Really? Never, never. Yeah, watch it. Watch how this is going to go. Were you ever notified? Yeah, no. Yeah. He knew that there was a bill on it after his, his attorney showed up wanting to pay I, the bill. No, no, no. But that's afterwards him trying to get the motor back. I'm asking you, did you fix this? Yes. Did you do this work? Yes, I did. Did you have his authority to do that work? No, I didn't. Okay. Now, you come back from Florida, and then you decide to pick it up. Yeah. You talk to him, and <laughs> he says, what? Well, you have to pay me for the work? No. He say, you come to the house, you pick it up. I say, I come tonight. No, he say, you can't come tonight. I say, I come tonight. Well, wait, no, wait, I'm wait, wait. Why the house? Because the more he take it to the house to cut the cigarettes. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Did you have it in your house? It never left the shop, ma'am. Okay. Did you ever tell him to go pick it up at your house? No, ma'am. And when his attorney showed up, he wanted to see the lawnmower, and I bring him right inside the garage, right where it was for the last so many months. And that's where it sat. According to you, you have a picture of the yes. thing in front of his house? Yes, my friend, the uh, mate, it's a friend of the family, it's a lawyer too, right here. Oh, come on up. It's your moment to shine. <laughs> <laughs> So can this place charge the customer for storage? Only if they it was predetermined. It was not predetermined. It doesn't seem fair. What do you say? Um, I don't really know. Okay, what do you say then? <laughs> she says the same thing that you say. Going inside the courtroom. What you got? Um, uh, first, uh, Mr. Baker's statement that when I showed up to his shop, he showed me the lawnmower. He actually told me that the lawnmower was in storage and that he couldn't show me the lawnmower at that point. Oh, did you say you showed him the lawnmower? I, he did see the lawnmower. Both occasions, he was there twice. First to see it, to get did it. Did you see it ever, on one occasion or the other one? Um, I never saw it at his shop, but I saw it at his home when I snapped some pictures So when May. he's saying that he showed it to you at his shop, he's bullface lying? Yes. Okay, so you went to his home? And, cer it. and it certainly was there and- uh, May I see the photograph, counselor? You may be. <laughs> Is that your? Yes. OK, so what's this? <laughs> That's not the same mower. It's not. The it's not the same no, mower? it's not. It Ours just is, looks like the same mower? <laughs> Ours is a year and a half, a year newer than his. Do you have any proof that you own this mower? No, I didn't know my motor was going to come in question, man. Yeah. <laughs> what coincidence do you have the same mower as a guy? Mine's a year newer than his. How did you come up with $1,500 as the um, value of the lawnmower? Because the same lawnmower, they got them, Casanova, they sold for uh, no one. Yeah, but, you don't, but wait, even, uh, let's assume that he stole your lawnmower. Yeah. You would never be able to get the value, uh, the replacement value of a brand new lawnmower. You would get the value of a mower the, the year that, of the one that you lost, you understand? Court is to make you whole, not to put you in a better position than yeah. you were in before. When people come to court, here's how it works. That side has the burden of proof for what they're saying, and this side has the burden of proof for what they're saying. He's saying, my thing was only brought over there to sell it. I didn't ask for any work to get done, I just wanted to sell it, so Mike brought it over there to sell it. You're saying, that's not what Mike told me. Mike told me, we need to fix it and then try to sell it. No, we don't. I don't sell lawnmowers. They wanted to sell it from that property, though. Right, and we, that's, it's a garage. We don't, I mean, okay. we might sell a car. You but want him to pay for repairs of $272.03 that you that say were made. That was all he owed. Pardon? That was all he owed initially. That's lovely. And you want him to pay that because, according to you, you have the authority to go through with that work which the law requires you have. You say you have it verbally without even getting into whether or not your state allows it verbally, because lots of states don't, he says, I never authorized that work, and I never agreed to pay storage fees if I left it there over. This is important, because this is what you have all of your customers sign that authorizes you to do the work, and it states very clearly, look, buddy, you don't pick up your stuff, we're charging you $5 a day storage, or whatever the heck it was, whatever the amount was. You don't have this signed. I tend to think it went down something like this. I tend to think if I was a betting woman, that he tells Mike whatever he tells Mike, and Mike tells you whatever he tells you. And they, you may both think you're right, and Mike might have said two different things. I don't think you ever said to him, come take your stuff. I don't think he ever authorized the repair. I think that you would have faxed him 
taken a picture, made him sign. You know, there's all kinds of ways to get somebody to sign this document. You know that, right? Because you do fax the documents for people to sign to get their signature. That None of that stuff's done. The guy comes back all of a sudden, and it's either in your shop or at your house. One or the other. I don't know which. It's entirely possible you have one that looks like it. You, one you have at your house that you photograph is not a unique item. I don't know. But it doesn't matter because I'm ordering you right now to return that item to him. Okay? And if you do not return the item to him, I am setting a value of $900 for the item. On your counterclaim, for the reasons I've already explained, zero. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. Thank you. See what the defendants have to say coming out here. Uh, he'll get back his lawnmower. Step step up a little bit. What, what's uh, what's going to happen next? Take the parts out of it. You're gonna, you're gonna take it apart? Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's not getting. My he's stuff. not getting it after it's working. He can have it back broke the way I got it. Mm -hmm. So that that's what you intend to do now? Mm -hmm. Take back? Yeah. Undo yeah. the work you did on it? Yeah. Sure. I'm not getting paid it, for it. And give it back to him in the same condition? Yep. Yes, All right. So how's he going to get it? I don't know. He could have called, picked up the phone, or he'll just try to sue us again. She's leaving and talking at the same time. Any, any last words here? No. Thank you. Okay, sir, so come on in here. Uh, yeah. Well, she values the, the judge values it at $900. You're going to go get your lawnmower? What? They got to call me to go pick it up. I got to go just to show up at the house and pick it up? Maybe you could call them. Okay. I want the lawnmower the way it was around everything. They said they're going to take out all the parts and yeah, all the, undo that, the work they the did. The Georgian said that because the lawnmower was run before. It was? Yes. Anything else? No, it's not. Harvey? So you should know a lot of judges will not make uh, a judgment conditional on the return of property. This is something special in small claims court.